Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. You've played in games of this nature. You can make the difference. Well, I'd go for Burak Yilmaz because he takes plenty of boxes. He's aerially strong, he's good on the ball, links up well with the runners around him, and he has a certain amount of dead ball expertise too. There aren't many boxes left here. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. So it's down to business here. Calderim. Gunnarsson. A real chance to break. That's a decent ball. Uh, needed a better pass there. Calderim. Chalanolu. Burak Yilmaz. Burak Yilmaz! Big relief. It just needed better contact. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. towards the front line and he's made sure that that won't get through Iceland have opted to really stretch the game now yeah that's pretty evident but what's their thinking um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box trying to remove that compactness forward it goes and it's Sigurdsson Gunnarsson tries lifting it over looks to play him in but, uh, a minor communications breakdown Chalhanolu Turkey have had plenty of possession but few if any genuine chances and here's Burak Yilmaz Could move up a gear here. Bjarnason. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Has a goal! He scored! First blood drawn.
Iceland break the deadlock. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And here's Burak Yilmaz. Done very well to intervene. Hoists it forward. Oh, good interception. And it's Sigurdsson. Gets it back. Calderim. Shelhanolu. And it's played forward. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Gets it upfield. That'll be a throw. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And it's played forward. Battles to win it back. Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson plays it forward. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. The first half is done, and there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Turkey need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Gunnarsson. What an adventurous run from a defender. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. I have. Chelhanolu. Calderim. Held by a goal, needing to go up a gear. That's how it looks here. Right towards the front men. Uh, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Sigurdsson. It's Sigurdsson! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And that has been cleared. Bjarnason. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may hits one! And again, the keeper stands strong. Chalhanolu. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about... The referee's awarded a free kick.
Raihan. Tosun. No, no way through there. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well played, he saw that coming. Well, that's where he wants it. Ihan. Tosun. And it's Chalhanolu. He's got it on the right now. What's on? Into the box. There are a few waiting for it. Yilmaz has a clever pass. Turkey are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Oh, it's one! Oh, taken with style! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. Chalhanolu. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. And that oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And he is going into that little black book. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. Gunnarsson. It really is now or never. They need a goal, however it comes. And the finish! Forward it goes. Yilmaz takes control of it and he's on the move. Deftly done. And that will be the final act. A very good game of football, no winner. But both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and it ends all square. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Turkey certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.